Welcome, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Mao Zedong was born on December 26, 1893, in the rural village of Shaoshan, Hunan Province, China. He came from a humble background, and his early education was limited. Mao's experiences growing up in a poor peasant family deeply influenced his later political ideology and determination to address the inequalities he witnessed in Chinese society. In 1921, Mao Zedong became one of the founding members of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. He played a crucial role in organizing workers and peasants and promoting communist ideology in the early days of the party. Mao Zedong's leadership during the Long March, 1934-1935, cemented his position as a prominent figure in the CCP. He led communist forces on a grueling 6,000-mile retreat to evade nationalist Kuomintang forces. Despite tremendous hardships, the Long March solidified Mao's influence within the party. Mao's ascent to power within the CCP continued throughout the 1930s and 1940s. By 1949, communist forces under his leadership successfully defeated the nationalists in the Chinese Civil War, leading to the establishment of the People's Republic of China on October 1, 1949, with Mao as its founding chairman. One of Mao's most significant policies was the Great Leap Forward, 1958-1962. This ambitious initiative aimed to rapidly transform China from an agrarian society to an industrialized nation. However, the campaign led to catastrophic consequences, including widespread famine and the deaths of millions due to economic mismanagement. Mao initiated the Cultural Revolution in 1966 to maintain his power and remove perceived enemies within the CCP. This movement resulted in political purges, widespread violence, and the persecution of intellectuals, artists, and those labeled as counter-revolutionaries. It profoundly disrupted Chinese society for nearly a decade. Mao's quotations were compiled into a book titled Quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong, commonly known as the Little Red Book. It became a symbol of his cult of personality, and millions of copies were distributed in China and abroad during the Cultural Revolution. In a surprising turn of events, Mao Zedong met with U.S. President Richard Nixon in 1972. This historic visit marked the beginning of normalized relations between China and the United States after years of diplomatic isolation. Mao Zedong passed away on September 9, 1976, at the age of 82. Despite the controversies surrounding his leadership, Mao is still revered by many in China for his role in the country's transformation into a global power. His legacy remains a subject of intense debate, with supporters and critics continuing to evaluate his impact on China and the world. Mao's image and portrait continue to loom large in China. His portrait hangs prominently on Tiananmen Square, and he is still officially recognized as a founding father of the People's Republic of China. His legacy is a complex mix of achievements and controversies that continue to shape China's political landscape. Thanks for watching.